Alright you guys, so I'm finally getting around to filming my first ever YouTube video. It's kind of, sorry, that was my phone. It's kind of nerve wracking and kind of exciting all at the same time. So anyways, we're just going to jump into it. Um, I'm basically going to be going over my favorite products of 2019. Um, Either I discovered most of them in 2019 or some of them I've been using through 2018 to, on to 2019. I have a lot of high-end, I have a lot of drugstore, I just kind of have like a mixture of both. So if you're interested, then keep watching and yeah, I hope you like it. So first of all, I'm going to start with face primers. <clears throat> I have two, let's see, I have three face primers. first one I'm going to go over is actually drugstore. And it is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It just looks like this. I feel like this just gives you like an even base. I usually put this primer um, around like my T-zone and where I have more enlarged pores. Um, and I just feel like it gives you such a pretty base for applying your foundation. My second one is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. And it also says it's safe for sensitive skin, which is like a must for me because my skin is so stinking sensitive. I usually use this on days where my skin is super, super dry. So this kind of is like my lifesaver on days like that. Um, the next one is by Smashbox. It's a photo finish primerizer. It looks like these. I feel like this is just an everyday, like essential primer. Um, I used to not really believe in primers, but after I discovered the Smashbox one, I realized that it just helps with like the longevity of your makeup. It helps give your makeup just more of like an even application. I I highly recommend primers now. Okay, so the next is foundation or um, a tinted moisturizer. The first one is a tinted moisturizer, and it's by Lancome, and it's the Skin Feels Good. I have mine. I have mine in shade. 01 in nudie and it just looks like that. I feel like this is just an everyday great like tinted moisturizer. Um it does has it does have SPF 23 in it, so that's a plus. Um the next one is from Smashbox and this is the Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Just looks like that. I have mine in the shade 2.12. And this is like an everyday foundation too if you just want like a little bit more coverage and it lasts on my skin all day long. So moving on to concealers. Um, I have two drugstore concealers and one high-end concealer. The first one is the Flower Beauty. Um, I have the shade Fair. And I feel like this is just such a great, great concealer because it doesn't make your eyes look like crepey or anything it makes them look super hydrated um, and it kind of gives you like a glow too underneath the eyes my second one is from Colourpop and it is the pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer looks like that I have mine in the shade uh, light 40 in and I feel like this is like you could use this as like a foundation you could use it as a concealer. You, it's like an all-in-one. It is my favorite. It goes over blemishes really nicely. Um, and it doesn't make it look like crusty or cakey or anything like that. I use this every single day. My last concealer is by Jouer. I have this one in the shade Snow. It just looks like this. It is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. This is so good. It's so comparable to um, Tarte Shape Tape, except Tarte, the Tarte one kind of dries my under eyes out a little too much. So I tend to go for that one over the Tarte Shape Tape because it doesn't leave your under eyes looking super crepey or like dried out or anything like that. So that one is a must. Moving on to setting powder. Um, I have two that I really love. And one of them is more of just like an under eye setting powder and the other one is like all over face setting powder. And the face setting powder is from Wet n, 
Wet n Wild. It's the just the pressed powder, and I have mine in Warm Light. It is highly used. It is very well loved. Um, like I said, I just used this for an all-over finish, and it's pretty creamy. It's pretty creamy. It reminds me a lot of the MAC, um, I can't even think of what it's called, the MAC finishing powder or something like that. It claims to have no photo flashback. I have personally never tested that. I don't think. But anyways, it's just a great all-over setting powder from the drugstore that I use pretty much every day. Um, the next one is for the under eyes. This is from Fenty Beauty. It just looks like this, if you can even see it. Um, it's in the lavender shade. It is called the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And it does have like a lavender tint to it, but I think that that's great because it kind of gives your under eye a little brightness to it, which we all need sometimes. Bronzer. Okay, my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite bronzer that I used all year long was the Hourglass Ambient... The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. It's the color that I use. Um, let's see here. I use Nude Bronze Light. I'll do a little swatch of it. It's super creamy. It goes on the skin so, so nicely. It doesn't skip or, you know, look patchy or anything like that. It's such a pretty undertone. And yeah, it's my favorite. And I've been using it all year long. So, moving on to blush. I have three blushes, and one of them is a drugstore. The drugstore blush is from Burt's Bees, and it is in Toasted Cinnamon. It's such a pretty color. Um, so, this is the tone of it. <clears throat> it's got kind of like a reddish, brownish undertone. I don't know. I just think it's such a pretty everyday, like, shade. It looks a little weird against my skin tone, but when I have a tan, it's perfect. Okay, so the next blush is by Buxom. It's the Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Dolly. I just think it's such a pretty shade. This is also like an everyday blush. It does have a little bit of sheen to it. I think that's why I like it so much is because it has like that little sheen and it's such a pretty color. It's such a universal color. Like anybody could get away with that color. The next one is by Kylie Cosmetics. It is in the shade Close to Perfect. This is also like a very nudie, um, has like a little bit of like a reddish tint to it. This is a very buildable blush. You do have to build it up a little bit, but I just think it gives the prettiest, I just think it's the prettiest color. It's like almost like a nude, has like a little tint of reddish, pinkish. I just think it's so stinking pretty and I use this one pretty much every day also. So moving on to highlights. I have one drugstore and two high-end. Um, okay. So the first one is going to be the drugstore. It's from Wet n Wild. It's a Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Blossom Glow. I just think this shade is so pretty. It does have a pink shift to it. But usually I don't go for that, but it is so pretty and it's not chalky and it's not powdery and it's not chunky. Like it's just such a pretty, pretty highlighter and it gives such a pretty glow to your cheeks. I love it. And it's drugstore. It's so affordable and it's so comparable to high-end um, highlighters as well. So the next one is from Stila. It's the Heaven, Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. And it looks like, it kind of looks a little too dark for my skin tone, but it's not. The best way to apply this highlighter is, in my opinion, with a sponge. <laughs> with just like a wet, damp sponge. Mm, that's this color right here. I just think it's so pretty. And it gives you just like a pretty sheen to the skin. I just, I love it. The next one is from Ciate London. It's the Dewy Sticks in the shade Glow. Now, this one is more of like a balm. It just looks like that. But it's more of like a balm, which I personally love. <laughs> Some people don't, but like your hair does kind of get stuck in it sometimes. You can see it's just like 
it gives you like the prettiest it's right up here it gives you just like the prettiest sheen can you see it I don't know it's just like so pretty and especially in the summer when you're going to the pool or like even going to the gym or wherever it just is so it's so good it's my favorite moving on to eyebrow products I have two that's it um, I always use the Precisely My Brow in shade 3. It looks like this. I'm sure people, I'm sure you've heard people talk about this all, all the time. But it's just so good. And what I set my eyebrows with is from Anastasia. It's just the clear, yeah, it's just the clear brow gel. It looks like this. All of the wording is not even on it anymore because I've used it so much. But that stuff is so good. Moving on to face palettes. So I have a contour palette. First of all, it is the contour, it's the contour kit in light to medium and it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It just looks like this. I just think that these contour shades are perfect. Like they are so pretty. They don't, they're not too chalky. They blend out nicely. Um, I use these two shades to kind of brighten the under eye, this banana shade, and then this like vanilla y almost got, almost has like a pink undertone shade to it. Perfect for brightening up the under eyes. This next palette is from Hourglass. It's pricey. It's really pricey. I got it for Christmas. So if you want to splurge and spend the money on it, I highly suggest you do it. It has two finishing powders, a strobe powder, a bronze, a strobe blush, and another blush. And I use literally every single shade. Like I said, I got it for Christmas, so, you know, it doesn't look like I've used it that much. But these two blush shades, mm -hmm, so pretty. Alright, we're going to move on to my favorite eyeshadow palette. I know that people have talked about this. A million times before but it's just so good it's the modern renaissance pa palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills um, yeah mine is like used to the max okay so I have five lip products that I want to go over um, we'll go over the lip glosses first the first one is from Tarte it is in the shade fresh pressed I love this I usually only use this for days where I don't really have a whole lot of makeup on, but I want to give like a little tint to my lips and just like a little freshness and, you know, glowiness. It has a little tint, not a whole lot, but I love it. Um, the next one is from Buxom. Can't go wrong with the Buxom lip gloss. These are the best. Like, I will put this on every single day. And even when my lips are super chapped, they don't look chapped at all. Like, it looks so, so stinking good. It's the best. It's that one right there. It's kind of got like a pinkish, almost like brownish, nudish undertone to it. It's just the prettiest shade. Next one is from Hourglass. I don't know. I think these are the high gloss. I don't know. But this is the most pigmented, um lip gloss I think that I have it's super pretty it is in the shade unreal it's got like um I don't know like a mauvey like brownish pinkish undertone to it I just think it's so pretty um these don't last as long as the buxom but they do have good wear time my next items are um lip pencils so my first one is drugstore and it's from Milani and it is in the shade most natural it just looks like this this is my favorite shade like of all time I think <laughs> it's so good it's so creamy and it just glides on and it's so cheap you guys for the price of this it is so comparable to high-end um, lip liners it lasts all day it's what I have on my lips today can you see it I don't know it's just such a pretty shade. So the next one is from Pat McGrath in the shade Contour. Alright, you cannot go wrong with the Pat McGrath lip liners. Like, I don't know. Oh, man, they're just so good and so creamy and they last. 
literally all day. All right, last but not least is a setting spray. It's by ColourPop and it is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. This doesn't help with the longevity of your makeup or anything like that. I just feel like it has such a nice, fine mist. Mm. And it smells so good and it makes your makeup melt into the skin and I don't know, it's just such, it's such a good setting spray. And it's so cheap and affordable. Like, I don't know why I would go for a high-end setting spray ever again. Maybe if I wanted my makeup to last longer, I would. But I love this. Like, it's so, so, so good. So, anyways, highly recommend. So that pretty much concludes everything. Um, I don't think I missed anything. Hopefully I didn't. But anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please leave me comments in my comment section on what you guys want to see. I would like to do workout videos. Um, I would like to eventually do vlogs. I don't know. I'll get there. So my goal is to put out videos at least once a week. Just one video once a week. I might have to go one video every two weeks. I don't know. I'm just going to play with it and see what's kind of easier and better for me in my schedule. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this. Give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Um, I think that's it. So I will see you all in my next one. Bye.